what are the qualifications that is required for caps like what do you have to do for the qualification for caps exam what is the cost of this whole uh, registration for caps exam what is the salary that you get after uh, qualifying the caps exam and sir what is the exam pattern like like is it multiple choice is it theoretical what is it so hello everyone and i am sunidhi shahi your host and welcome back to our podcast with one and only our ceo and founder dr akram welcome sir and thank you so much for coming here thank you sunidhi so our topic today is going to be very very important for the medical professionals who are who wants to be a pharmacist so here our topic is going to be about caps exam we are going to cover each and everything related to from the basic to the most uh, Im- important one so yeah so my first question would be what is caps exam so caps exam nothing but is the just for full form we can take knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences okay so those are overseas qualified pharmacists they want to register themselves as registered pharmacist in australia so they need to write this caps exam or knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences so in this exam they want to check your knowledge regarding you study in your four years five years here in your pharmacy degree overseas okay sir and sir who all can apply and uh, who all can qualify five for caps exam how one can qualify Yes, so for this exam, you need four years bachelor degree in pharmacy, so bachelor of pharmacy, or if you did five year bat- a doctor of pharmacy or six year doctor of pharmacy, you are eligible. And plus, some student they did first diploma in pharmacy, for example, in India. Then you did your lateral entry bachelor degree three years diploma plus bachelor degree. Also, you are eligible to write this exam. So basically, they want to just check minimum four years in bachelor degree, and plus you mm-hmm. must be a registered pharmacist in your home country. This is the minimum. Minimum requirement to apply for CAPS exam to become a pharmacist in Australia. Okay, and sir, uh, what is the time duration of this whole process of CAPS? Uh, so there is some steps, you know, to involve you. For example, skill assessment, then CAPS exam, then English. Then you have to mm-hmm. apply like visa and all those things. So total, I can say, it, it may take care. Uh, minimum will take six months and uh, and maximum one year. So on an average, we can say eight to twelve month will take to complete this whole process. Okay. And how many steps are there in the CAPS exam? Uh, so basically, to become a pharmacist in Australia from overseas, there is some steps you need to complete. The first step called initial skill assessment. Or we can say eligibility check by APC Australian Pharmacy Council. The next step, mm-hmm. CAPS exam. This is knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences. You need to write this exam. You can write in your home country, and this is a multiple mm-hmm. choice basic exam. And then next step is the English requirement. So English even you can write before the exam. after the exam is up to you. There is no such condition from Australian Pharmacy Council. And uh, in English, you can go for IELTS. OET or PT, any test you can uh, you can write, and then okay. that you have to apply for your EOI visa and come to Australia. Okay, and sir, what all documents are required for the CAPS exam? Yeah, so as I mentioned, the first step called initial assessment, and for this you need to require some documents, important documents for first of all your, your degree, you complete from which degree from your university, and plus your uh, transcript, or also we can say this some university we call consolidated mark sheet. And we yeah. need your passport and your uh, Aadhaar card in case if you are Indian. If you are from other country, we they need national ID apart from your passport, and they need passport size photograph. And importantly, you need your registration as a pharmacist. And also, they will ask you to submit your birth certificate. And you know all these documents, you need to pay the fees one three one zero Australian dollar Indian rupees. I can mm-hmm. say seventy thousand Indian rupees around. You need to pay to complete this process called initial skill assessment with Australian. by the Australian Pharmacy Council Okay sir I'm sure this must be very helpful for the students and sir moving to my next question that what are the qualifications that is required for caps like what do you have to do for the qualification for caps exam Yeah as I mentioned earlier do you need bachelor degree in pharmacy so bachelor of pharmacy doctor of pharmacy or diploma plus mm-hmm. These are the degree or master of pharmacy. So these are the requirements to some diploma in pharmacy is not eligible. Many diploma students always comment on this. Diploma is not eligible. If you have any degree, if you have, then you are eligible to sit in the CAPS exam. Okay, and how many attempts can you give for CAPS exam? Ah, uh, so there's there's a good news. Basically, as you know, this CAPS exam is for two countries, Australia and New Zealand. So each country. Right. 
on category for australia it is a unlimited attempt for you you can attend and secondly for new zealand new zealand only give two chance two attempt only there's no third attempt for you if you fail but uh, i can um, if you join academically our percentage mm -hmm. of passing 92 percent 93 percent last uh, uh, seven or eight exams you know we are conducting last three years so many exams so very mm -hmm percentage so you will not going to fail with you don't think about that you are going to repeat this exam but in case you repeat yeah. you an unlimited attempt this year and also importantly there are two paper if you fail in paper mm -hmm. one then only you can need to repeat in paper one but if you fail in the paper two then only you need to repeat paper two only that paper only you need to repeat in which you fail okay okay i'm sure this must be clear so sir, moving uh, forward to my next question what is the cost of this whole uh, registration for caps exam Yes, so there is a four step as I mentioned earlier. The first step, initial skill assessment, you need to pay one three one zero Australian dollar, or we can say around seventy one thousand Indian rupees. Okay. The next step, you need to go for CAPS exam. So CAPS exam, when you booking the exam date, when you want to write this. So for example, the next exam is going to be in March. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you pay yeah. around. 2230 Australian dollar or Indian rupees 120,000. Mm -hmm. Apart from this, mm -hmm. English test, you have to pay for this. You have to pay for this. You need to pay oh. Apart from this, when you need to got PR visa, also need to pay 4,200 Australian dollar. Okay. And uh, sir, uh, like coming to the most important questions that our candidates ask that what is the salary that you get after uh, qualifying the CAPS exam? Yes. So basically, if you compare the salary in our own country, so if you are from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, you know, in general, Indian rupees, we are getting as a pharmacy uh, 12 to 15,000 from beginning from zero experience onwards, right? But if you are migrating to Australia, so in Australia, the salary they pay per hour basis. It is not like monthly. Okay. So on an average, you will get around 28 to $30 per hour salary when you need to work for one year internship. After internship, you complete it, you become a registered pharmacist. Your salary is going to be a $40, $45, $50 around per hour salary. You know, So it's going to be exponentially basically a growth. But on an average, also, if you are working Monday to Friday, this is the same date. But if you are working in Saturday, they will give you 1.5x. For example, if they are paying you $30 per hour, they will give you in that day $45 per hour salary. Or if you are working in Sunday okay. or if you are working any on public holiday, they will give you a 2x salary. Means 30 into 2, $60 per hour salary you will get. So this is basically normal uh, salary structure in Australia as a pharmacist. But on an average, pharmacist in earn very good salary. Decent salary in Australia. Yeah. On average, I can say 4 to 5 lakh Indian rupees easily they can earn per month as a pharmacist in Australia. Yeah, that's amazing, sir. Because I think here in India, being an Indian, I think that here we don't get any extra pay for any extra hour or a minute or in fact a day. But, you know, getting extra pay even for an hour if you work, that is something really uh, exciting for the candidates. Yes, many, many students basically, I know uh, personally, uh, so they work basically purposefully Sunday and they take a week off on any uh, working day, right? So they, they can okay. get it to, to get it to Excel, day, you know. So even some, they work 8.5 hour, 9 hour, they work one hour extra to get more salary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Thing. And sir, what is the exam pattern like? Like, is it multiple choice? Is it theoretical? What is it? So, CAPS exam, basically, there are two exams in CAP, paper one and paper two. So, paper one consists of two subjects. It's called pharmacology and plus uh, physiology and plus pharmaceutical chemistry. So they will ask you only multiple choice questions. They will give you 100 questions and there's a two hour time and you need to score 50% in the each subject. So for example, if they give you 70 questions from pharmacology, so you have to score 35 correct and you pass the exam. And then there's a oh. one hour gap in between these two papers. Then you need to go for paper two. Again, paper two, they will ask you from pharmacotherapy plus pharmaceutics. Again, 50% you need to score. So basically 200 questions, they will give you for four our time and 50 percent okay. each papers you need to score to pass this exam is multiple choice course uh, question they will ask you okay and sir is there any age limit for this particular exam caps to sit in the exam there is no age limit even if you are okay. 50 years also you can sit in the exam no problem mm -hmm. register yourself as a pharmacist there is no problem but the problem mm -hmm. 
to applying the visa. So if you want to get your PR visa, you need PR yeah. visa. in that case, your age must be below 45 years of age. But if you want to work on uh, on work visa, then there is no hmm. age. You can register yourself as a pharmacist in Australia. Okay. And sir, like uh, a lot of people has this question that, okay, they have qualified for the CAPS exam. But what next? Like what is the next procedure they should go ahead with? So at academically, basically, I personally guide my all students who are joined academically for CAPS. So we basically help you in your day one onwards at the end. Okay. So for example, school assessment and you pass the CAPS and you pass the English. What, what next basically? So mm -hmm. next step, basically, we will guide you regarding your CV and cover letter. We will change as per the Australian standard and then we will guide you to what kind of question they may ask you in the interviews. Okay. We will give you the what are the website you need to upload your CV and start looking a job and start applying the jobs. Okay. And you will receive a lot of interviews from uh, online mm -hmm. and in your home country, mm -hmm. you can sit in the exam uh, and then uh, you can basically the uh, two, two days back, one of my students sent me a text on my WhatsApp. You can see here. So she got the job. She is in India right now. She is basically in Kerala and she's coming on oh. 6th of December to, to Australia. So she got the job before she landed in Australia. So visa to pehle mil gayi thi, PR visa and she also yeah. got the job and she's coming now with her family, you know. So this is good news for us, you know. So that means that you can get a job from your home country as well. Yes. Most 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 of the students are getting nowadays from home country. Basically, once you pass the exam, you can start looking at job also, and you also apply your PR visa. Okay, so, dono assignment sabo karne hote hain. Jo bhi aapko pehle mil jayega, you can come to Australia. But this girl I'm talking about, the Nancy, yeah. got the PR visa and she got the job also. You know, so she is coming on 6th of December to Australia. Okay, that's really amazing and a good news for us. So, yeah. uh, sir, I would also like to ask you uh, that can an Indian pharmacist also come to Australia if uh, at all they have taken a break of one year, two years. So is it possible if we can uh, give the CAPS exam? Yes. So basically in CAPS exam, there is no requirement to have any work experience. Okay. So pharmacists are lucky. I can say there's no work experience required to apply for CAPS exam. So if you have one or two, three, four, five years, even if you have gap or maybe you are working some other field. Now you want to apply for CAPS exam. There is no problem. You can apply. There are so many students from our previous batch. Some of them, are working in sales and marketing, MR, medical rep. They pass yeah. it. Now they are in Australia, they are working. So there is no problem, no work experience required. But if you experience experience, this is the advantage huh. for you when you are applying the job. But if work experience is not required, so your gap hai, there is no problem for you. Okay. And so my last question on this will be, what would you like to tell to our aspiring candidates on CAPS? And if you want to uh, say something from academically on how academically can help them get the benefit on preparing the CAPS exam? As you know, academically is the number one, basically I can say proudly, around 50% students join academically worldwide, you know, for the CAPS exam. So we help them from day one onwards, from their skill assessment with APC, we help them to complete the process and we help them to, uh, we provide basically coaching. We have our mobile application and this is a AI based uh, system. So we provide, you know, live sessions, live classes, then we provide a study material for them. Plus we practice for them previous year question papers. So the students at least know, you know, the previous question, uh, they ask this kind of question and the next what they can ask, you know. And chapter wise, we make our uh, on uh, basically a uh, mock test so student can practice as many times they want for example there is so many system in our body okay like respiratory system git or heart you know so joby who complete karenge theory uski lecture complete karega for example uh, cvs cardiovascular system agar humne paanch lecture mein usko khatam kiya to paanch lecture ke baad mein aapka jo next step hoga we will give you a mock test so mock mein aapko you have to attend more than 50 percent agar aapko 50 se kam aate hain to amara lecture aapko you know identify karega kisi 50 percent se kyun kyun aaye then they will talk to you one-on-one -on -one why it is, you know, what is the reason why you are not performing well, okay? So we identify the, your problem, they try to improve, you know, then next time you can go improve. So basically, individualized student pe hamara focus rehta hai. That's why academically ka always jo hai, a role bhoat hi achha rehta hai. So hum log basically, aapke journey day one se leke until you become a registered pharmacist in Australia. Mm -hmm. Ek saal ke baad bhi, 
academically is there to help you if you need assistance in your life in anything mere paas student basically task karte rehte hain pass karne ke baad sir abhi hum kya kare sir mere ko sir do jagah job mil gayi hai ye ho raha hai wo ho raha hai to bachche ko actually personally unko main guide karta rehta hu you know even you need basically another exam call you know in, during your caps exam you know during your internship basically intern exam mm-hmm. also, you need to write we also mm-hmm. you on that you know so obviously hum koi problem hai so we are here i'm basically personally here in sydney so if you guys are living around the sydney you can visit me in my office at any time okay so uh, guys what can be better than this that the founder itself he is saying that he is going to help you and guide you personally as well so academically is here to help you all and if you have any queries regarding anything you got you just feel free to comment down below or connect with our team on our different different social media platforms and you can also visit our website for the same academically.com so yeah thank you so much sir for your insights and i'm sure it must be very very helpful for our aspiring candidates thank you thank you so much thank you thank you sir